All right, it's been about three weeks, I guess, since my last uh, update video on the old Arkansas veggie garden. And we have had terrible storms, thunderstorms, tornadoes again, tore up the garden pretty bad. I uh, wasn't able to get in and weed it as much as I wanted. But the potatoes uh, are up and doing very well. And I planted some icicle uh, radishes here where some potato plants failed to, uh, to come up. And even, but now all of a sudden the weather has changed super hot, uh, almost overnight. And even though these potatoes are covered up with wheat straw, I'm still having to water them day and night. You're supposed to water your potato plants in the morning, and so they're dried out by the nighttime. But down here in Arkansas, uh, you know, the weather is so hot that even though I give it a good watering in the morning, the, uh, the ground will turn almost adobe brick. Uh, hard by nighttime because of the heat. So I'm watering them morning and uh, late at night and when the sun goes down, not late at night but in the afternoon when the sun goes down. And that's kind of keeping them looking nice and green and fresh. And we've got some blooms uh, still coming out, meaning potatoes are being made. Remember that old cabbage thing I stuck in the ground? <laughs> I don't know what's going to come about from this thing, but it looks like it's just all gone to seed and made a bunch of old leaves. Now nah, I'm going to let it grow. Let's see what happens. Over here, the tomato plants are getting much taller, and uh, we're letting the, we're letting the uh, blooms uh, stay on them now. When the when the plants are small, and they start putting out yellow flowers, pluck them off. Don't let them bloom out until they get up to around your knees or higher in height. The reason for that is, if you don't pluck those flowers off. Uh, right away when they're small the plant puts all of its energy into producing t those two or three tomatoes and the plant does not grow larger like it's supposed to and when it does eventually grow up larger you'll get smaller potatoes or smaller you'll get small you'll get smaller tomatoes <laughs> and uh, not as many of them so wait till they get up at least around your knees before uh, allowing the blooms to bloom like right there we got a feeling like it's hard to see out here in the sun, but uh, they're doing okay. They're doing okay. I didn't think they were going to make it. The uh, the storms just tore them up really bad. I had to really baby these things. So I'm going to have to get in here again tonight and uh, do a little little weeding when the sun goes down. Right now it's very hot. And the bush beans, what's left of them? The water washed that. Though they're larger plants, the water just washed them. Just washed everything away, and what was left we just let grow. And we have planted uh, a bunch of okra over there, and it's coming up finally because the weather's hot. Okra is a member of the cotton plant family, and okra grows much better in hot uh, sun. And these things right here are crowder peas that I planted, and each night they get watered. And again, right after I planted them, the storms came and washed out a bunch of seeds. So the wife and I have decided that, you know, we're done with the beans, and, uh, you know, we did our best on that to... The storms just wouldn't cooperate with us, so if we need any beans or peas, we'll just uh, hit the, the Walmart produce aisle. <laughs> Over here is another cabbage uh, thing I stuck in the ground, if you'll recall. I don't know if I filmed that or not, but the wife had another one, so I just jammed it in the ground and been watering it. Look at there, it's forming a head right in the center. Look at there, boy, forming a little head right there. So I don't know what's going to come of that, too. So from now on, when you have a cabbage stump, don't just throw it out or throw it away. Go out and stick it in the ground. It'll grow. <laughs> the proof positive on these two I just showed you. And again, the potatoes over here are doing well. Uh, nothing has bloomed out yet. Kind of strange. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to do. I don't know how well it's going to do. And uh, the bell pepper plants are getting larger. We're getting a couple bell peppers off of them. The okra over here that we planted uh, is doing well. Pretty soon that okra uh, will be above my head, maybe 10 feet tall. And the trunk will be, oh, I don't know, two and a half, three inches in diameter, believe it or not. These are the onions uh, that the wife planted. I've kind of let the grass grow around them. And uh, I think what I'm going to do maybe tonight is wet it down real good and go in there and pluck all that stuff out of there and kind of weed it out. Uh, I like to let grass grow around some vegetables. Yeah, it takes some of the nutrients, but it also protects them from the Arkansas sun. It keeps them from being burned. And the... Uh, cucumbers are in the front. They're climbing the fence, doing well. We're getting a couple of those small ones. Now, we've been getting those small ones, I think it's off of this side. 
over here, I don't know what we're going to get off of that. We haven't got anything. Well, we've got one down here the wife missed. I don't need it She just wanted to... Let me see what we got here. I guess I better take this one off. She missed that one. <laughs> and the zucchinis. You know, now zucchinis, I mean, it's like a big jungle there. Boy, these things are looking really nice. I've sprayed a bunch of malathion on these things, keeping the bugs off, which really, really helps a lot. So that's what's going on with the old Arkansas veggie garden so far. Pretty soon... Uh, the sun will get even hotter next week supposed to be close to 100 degrees and eventually it'll get to the point where the potatoes will die out I'll let them stay in the ground a couple weeks and then dig them out meanwhile we'll just kind of come out every once in a while and weed this thing I'm not coming out in 100 degree weather and, and taking out a few blades of grass here and there I'm just not going to lose a lot of sleep over it now this grass area here some people may be wondering this is a walk through area where we walk through between the garden. We walk through there and over here to get to the other side so we don't have to go all the way around. Lazy people in Arkansas, you know how it is. See you all next time. This is John. Well, even though the weather's hot out there and I'm having to water quite a bit, the wife just went out and picked a bunch of zucchinis off her zucchini plants and a couple of cucumbers. Uh, apparently these are pickle type cucumbers they were mixed up uh, when we bought them with the larger cucumber plants so you know it's one of those crapshoot things you plant them and all of a sudden you get these and these are fully grown so I don't know they may be small but we're gonna go ahead and eat them anyway I wish they were larger but these old zucchinis these are gonna come in real nice in the frying pan Well, it's about 10.30 at night. I just got home from work and it looks like the wife went out and picked a few veggies in the garden. Her bush beans are doing pretty good. Not bad for a first picking. And she's got a little larger cucumber. <laughs> and it looks like we've got us another bell pepper, although it's not the biggest one. Uh, I'd like to see off those plants. I've been watering them really good. so but She did really good on her little old beans here. I'm pretty impressed with her accomplishment there. Wifey just cut up the beans and she sent me out to the garden to get some new potatoes. And I just decided to get a mixture of everything I can find. I found some, a uh, couple of the red Lasotas. Uh, I think these are, I think these are uh, russets. And this is a, I don't know what this is, a Kennebec I think or something. I don't know, maybe these are, anyway, whatever they are. She's going to cut them all up into pieces and put them in our beans. We're going to have ourselves a a pot of green beans with new potatoes. Well there they are cooking up real good. Potatoes and beans, got a little bacon in there with them. Boy I'll tell you what, it just don't get any better than that. <laughs> good old Arkansas Vittles. Yeah, a little seasoning in there. Man it's looking good, smelling good too.